Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. But today I'm bringing you an unboxing video. I ordered a few pings and a sundew from uh, Rainbow Carnivorous Plants. Uh, I just received this in the mail today and I'm excited to kind of unbox this and open it up for you. I have some projects coming up that I'm going to be doing with pings, including like a, a big ping rock with some lava rock or some reef rock. I haven't really decided yet, but I wanted to start acclimating some pings to, to the environment that I have here. Uh, so far, I've had a lot of good luck with uh, windowsill um, light for my pings which has been really really nice. I haven't had to provide them with a ton of light but uh, I've been doing some some ping propagation, some leaf pulling and stuff and I've had a lot of really good success with it so I wanted to kind of um, build up my ping collection because I really only have the one ping set those so this will kind of this will definitely bring the, the Mexican butterwort collection up a little bit so that I have some flavor when I do my, my ping rocks. And I also wanted to get a sundew. I don't have any sundews in the collection right now. Uh, the ones that I had previously didn't make it because of a, a watering issue that I had when I was out of town. They dried up and uh, they sadly deceased. So I do have a, a regular sundew in here, just a typical. We're going to open that up too, a Drosera carpensis. So let's go ahead and get this opened here. So this is actually the first time I've ordered from Rainbow Carnivores, so this will be kind of fun for me. I always enjoy ordering from new businesses, especially in the carnivorous plant world, because most of them are small businesses. So uh, already check it out. Nice little thank you right on top, which is always really nice. So let me grab this and see. This is probably care instructions. So there we go. So kind of some basic care instructions for the butterworts or pinguicula and the Drosera carpensis. So they were careful to throw on care instructions for the two different kind of plants that I ordered. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. Actually, real quick, guys, before I unbox this, I have um, kind of an exciting announcement, uh, and I want to kind of share some news with you. If you're subscribed to my channel, you probably know that my dream and goal is to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. I honestly can't even put into words how much it means to me that you're here now watching my video and supporting my dream. YouTube just released a new way for people to support small content creators like myself. It's called Super Thanks and you'll see it available at the bottom of all my videos. This allows a viewer to say thank you with a monetary contribution to support my channel. You can send two, five, ten, or even fifty dollars to the content creator and you get to leave a custom comment that will be displayed as a featured comment down in the comment section showing that you contributed. If you don't have any money to throw my way, please, no sweat. Uh, you being here, liking my videos, subscribing to my channel, and just consuming my content is huge in supporting me and my dream. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Now let's go ahead and get back to the real reason that you're here. All right, thanks for listening to all that. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get these unboxed here. So here we go. This is the uh, Drosera carpensis. Got our tag right there. These, I believe I ordered all these as bare root. So I'll actually have to also get these potted up for you. I'm actually gonna go ahead now and move the box. Here we go, so we got the plant tag here. These were only in the mail for a couple of days. The shipping was actually really quick on these. Ordered them on a Monday, received them on a Wednesday. So there's one little Drosera carpensis right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. little pulling right there, just kind of a, a typical, nothing too fancy, just a little guy. There's a bigger one in here. Uh, the paper towel is still really moist, which is nice. I'm going to move this one aside here. And here we go. This is the bigger one here. Here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take that out because I'm not quite ready to, to pot that yet, but, but there you go. That, what a beauty. Check that out. Get this guy planted here in a little bit. See, we got some bugs on there. So it's been eaten pretty well, which is always a good sign. Really, really nice. Nice little carpensis. This is a super nice little plant. Really, really excited to, to get this growing so it can start catching some of these, these gnats that are flying around along with my my pinks. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here. So I think they, they must have just thrown this one in as kind of a bonus. So we'll we'll definitely plant this little guy too and see if we can get it to take. You never know. I was a little worried when I saw that as the, the first thing I unwrapped but 
there's there's the main plant. So they actually kind of they actually kind of threw in two, which is which is pretty cool. So I appreciate that. You're gonna have to excuse me if I get some of these names wrong. I probably am. I don't know the exact pronunciation of all these perfectly, but here we got the um, Cyclosecta Pinguicula. This is one of the ones I was kind of the most excited about. I really like the coloration on these. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here they come in these like little, uh, I forget what these are called, like uh, like little sauce containers you get at a restaurant. It's actually a really good idea for sending these bare root. Let's go ahead and open it up here. And there's the plant tag on the lid. Let's see what we got. There it is. There we go, that's a little better. It's not quite as close, but you can definitely see it a little bit better. It's better lighting. Pinguicula cyclosecta. Beautiful, I'm really excited about this one. They don't get super big, um, but they are just a really, really cool ping. So I'll put this one there. Uh, when I'm done here, I'll go ahead and take the, the camera off the tripod too, and make sure you can get a better look out of them under the light. All right, this next one here, we have a Pinguicula condoi. I think I'm saying that right. This out of here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that one's got a couple in there, look at there. Okay, I apologize. I had a, a setting kind of messed up on my camera, but here we go. You'll be able to see a lot better now. I got the, the setting set up correctly here so that this exposes a little better. There we go. You can see there's two rosettes there. Really, really beautiful little, little pinguicula. Pinguicula condoi. That one's really cool. And I'm actually going to bring the cyclosecta back up here real quick uh, because I feel like I kind of screwed that up I'm showing it to you the first time actually I probably cut it so you probably don't even know what I'm talking about but let me bring this cyclosecta up real quick this is the fir first one I unboxed here and I had the exposure all messed up so you couldn't see it very good but look at that really beautiful kind of the purple tips and the green in the middle really really beautiful plant Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher this name. The Ellersay. Guys, if I said that wrong, <laughs> please correct me in the comments. I probably did say that one. And that one I'm I'm really just not confident about. But let's go ahead and pull it out of here and check it out. Oh yeah, these ones are just stunning. Look at that. Man. Back here. What a cool little ping I cannot wait to get these guys potted up these are so cool beautiful beautiful this one has kind of the the white tips and the pink in the center really 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 cool excited about that one I'm excited about all of them if you can't tell <laughs> this one again uh, I'm gonna butcher that obviously I don't know that that must be like the Lana Amarganata Lana Amarganata I feel good about Amarganata but I don't feel confident about the the Lana could be Lina I don't know uh, another one that I'm not 100% sure on I don't have a lot of experience with uh, butterworts guys I that that ping that I got is one of the first ones I've had that's really grown well uh, the Sethos that's really really done well so I've decided to kind of branch out on them more um, so this is the first time of me owning any of these species of Pinguicula so I'm really really excited and I'll be hopefully learning some names because I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the crap out of these I probably need to go watch some videos um, of people that have these so that they can school me oh look at this one. Oh, look at that this one's a little bit bigger look at that a beautiful green in the center with the pink outlines. Man, 
What a stunning little pinguicula. Really, really cool. It's got some new shoots coming out. Some new leaves getting ready to unfold. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Look at that. Man. The colors on that. Fantastic. That's definitely the biggest one so far. Now, I think I'm a little confused because this one says. Oh, look at there. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Free gift. They gave me a free one. An another, a, f a free one, one that I can't pronounce. Alana Amarganata. Which is really, really cool because these are stunning. Let's go and open this one up. And they have a little free gift. Hey, anytime I get a free gift, that's always a... Uh, that's always definitely a boon for that, that nursery. I really appreciate that. Uh, so good on you, Rainbow Carnivores. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the free gift. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, looky there. Beautiful. I'm all about the free gifts. So thank you, Rainbow Carnivores, for the free gift. That was really, really awesome of you guys. I think I've I think I've seen people post before about them being pretty generous in terms of free gifts. I don't want to give anybody any any expectations when you order from them, but I, I do kind of recall now seeing in some of my groups that I'm a part of uh, people saying that they got free gifts from Rainbow Carnivore. So very very cool. This th this isn't like a partnership. I didn't get these for free. I spent all my own money on these. I didn't tell them this was for a video. So um, you know they're not they're not patting themselves or anything. That was just. The, out of their own generosity from a from a from a buyer so really really cool they have no idea that I'm doing a video on this so wow that was that's awesome all right real quick before we rolled out I wanted to give you one good close-up here of all of these again so here we got the uh, Pinguicula LRSA or LRSI I'm not sure but yeah what a what a stunning little ping that one's gonna be really, really neat. Okay, and we got over here next, this is my free gift. This is the Pinguicula Lana Emarginata. We got the little guy right here. And then we got the bigger one, which is really, really beautiful. You can kind of see what that one's gonna do for too long. Beautiful. Then we got the cyclosecta right here. Really, really cool. Now we're gonna move on down to the condoy. That one's really good. Almost that looks fake. It looks plastic. Which obviously it's not, but like it's so perfect it looks like it would be fake. Really, really neat. And this one had the two little Almost like a bonus rosette there, so that's cool. And we had our Drosera carpensis, which I know kind of grow like weeds, um, but I'm lacking Drosera up in here, so I'm gonna start with the easy guy and then maybe expand from there, but yeah. Very, very cool, very excited. Uh, once again, thank you Rainbow Carnivores for the free gift. That was really, really cool of you guys. I appreciate that. So I'm gonna get these all potted up and uh, yeah. Hopefully these guys will be a part of my ping rock that I'm going to be doing here soon. And some other projects coming out this summer. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, thanks again so much for being here. Thanks so much for supporting my dream. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And uh, I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.